There are plenty of photos. All kind of pictures. Any kind you want to see. And proclamations that help tell the story of his life. But his own words paint a sobering picture of a war where as many as 80 million people died. But I come back and didn't get a scratch on me. Not a scratch one. In World War II, he served four years in the U.S. Army. Private First Class Overton arrived in Pearl Harbor weeks after the bombing. Every window that was in those houses was shot out. And so when we, when we got over there, that's, that's the way it was. And the ships were just, some of us floating, some of us still smoking, they were still burning. Between 1940 and 1945, Mr. Overton was sent to Guam, Palu, and Iwo Jima. He said what he saw there haunted him for the rest of his life. You heard that water in Iwo Jima, that water turned to blood. Well, it did. Sometimes you ain't got no legs and no arms and no heads and flies. As big as bees, they keep your dog tags. And then they put a dog tag, you keep one and they'll, they'll send one to your family and they'll keep the other in their cell and put on the, on the grave. But when, you, when you were talking about the stuff that we had to go through, I never want to go through it again. He left the U.S. Army in October 1945 as a technician fifth grade, settling back down in his beloved Austin, Texas home. Mr. Overton worked at local furniture stores and with the Texas Department of the Treasury before he retired. His time was filled with friends and family, afternoons spent sitting on his front porch, but he also liked to stay busy. That's the only thing keep you living, too. You got to keep moving. You don't sit down and watch TV all the time. You got to move around. In 2013, the nation took notice that this member of the greatest generation was alive and kicking. A whirlwind of publicity brought lawmakers to his front porch and sent him out into the world to meet celebrities along with his brothers and sisters in arms. The oldest living World War II veteran was also honored by then President Barack Obama. Overton said it was one of the proudest moments of his life. In November 2015, Mr. Overton battled pneumonia and recovered. But by 2016, the soldier had grown more frail and was in danger of having to leave his beloved home of more than 70 years to stay in a nursing home. A GoFundMe campaign raised close to $200,000 to help pay for in-home care for the proud veteran. Happy birthday to you. In May 2017, Overton turned 111 years old. The city and the nation celebrating along with his friends and family. Austin Mayor Steve Adler declared the day Richard Overton Day. The city also renamed the street he lives on Richard Overton Avenue. We honor and remember a man who had a life well lived, filled with love, laughter, bravery, and courage, who loved his family, his country, and hoped that we would all learn to love one another. We say goodbye to Mr. Richard Arvin Overton, a warrior who has earned his rest.